In this video, we will go over techniques and tips on how to measure a deviated finger for a boutonniere splint. The boutonniere splint may be used on fingers that have lateral deviation of 25 degrees or less, are passively reducible to neutral, and the joints may be enlarged or have nodules. Before you start measuring, it is important to talk to the person to find out if their fingers are feeling normal or swollen. If their fingers are swollen, it will affect measuring and final fit of the splint. Understanding if they have fluctuations in size can help when deciding between a larger or smaller easy sizer. Some people even have two sets of splints for when they have flare-ups and swelling. To measure for a boutonniere splint, we will be using the easy sizer tool. The easy sizer tool has rings that have been designed to match the exact size and shape of our rings. Numbers referencing the size are located on the tabs, and alternating ring colors indicate whole and half sizes. The boutonniere holder is used to put two easy sizer rings together to form a trial plastic splint to slide on the finger. Let's examine the boutonniere holder. This holder has three slots which allow you to position the rings at different angles. Both sides have a 30 degree slot and one side has an additional 15 degree slot. The sides with two slots will usually be used for the proximal or larger ring and will position the ring at either 15 or 30 degrees. When you need a less angled measurement, say for a DIP joint or joints with nodules, then use the 15 degree slot. When a longer splint is desired for greater correctional force, use the 30 degree slot. You may need to play with which slot works best for each finger you measure. Now that you understand the holder, let's find some sizes. To start out, find a proximal size that is snug sliding over the joint, and when angled rests at about 15 or 30 degrees, depending on the finger. The tab will rest approximately 5 millimeters from the center of the joint. Go up or down and try it on sizes until you come to one that seems to fit well. Detach it from the cord and set it aside to use later in the holder. Follow the same procedure for the distal ring to find a snug but comfortable ring that will rest in the opposite direction, approximately 5 millimeters from the joint and at about 30 degrees. Then detach the distal ring size from the cord. To make a trial splint, insert the tabs of the rings you have chosen so the rings face away from each other. If you are unable to insert the tabs all the way to the base of the holder, the holder may be upside down. Once you create a trial splint, slide the larger end on the finger first. Since the trial splint is plastic, you may need to passively correct the deviation with your hand to position the splint on the finger to evaluate the fit. Don't let the patient try to fully bend their finger since it may break the plastic tool. If either of the rings is too tight, remove the ring from the holder and choose a bigger size. To determine if the rings are too loose, keep the finger straight and lightly press on the edge of the splint. If you see a lot of gapping between the finger and the ring, then the size may be too big and you may want to try a smaller size. Once you find a size combination that fits well, record it on an order form. You do not need to write that the boutonniere splint will be used to correct lateral deviation. If you use the 15 degree slot to measure, then you will need to adjust the ring when you receive it by decreasing the angle or bending the ring in. The small circle will act as the fulcrum point and should be positioned at the joint on the side opposite the direction the finger is deviating. To position the splint, you may have to rotate or twist it into place. The rings will probably leave indentations in the finger but that is to be expected as long as the ring is not cutting off circulation and is not causing a painful pressure sore. That is how you measure for a boutonniere splint worn to correct lateral deviation. If you need any help or have any questions, please visit our website at www.silverringsplint.com or feel free to call us toll free at 1-800-311-7028. Thank you for watching this video and we hope it has been informative.